In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the linear regression model using the TI-84 Plus CE graphics calculator. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you to do is how to input these sets of values in as lists. To do this, we'll first need to identify which one's our response variable and which one's our explanatory variable. Now, in this case, we've got a herd of rabbits that um, we're recording the population of each and every year. Now, the response variable in this is going to be the population, with our explanatory variable being the time. So our time of t years will be our x when we enter it into our calculator. To enter these x values into our calculator, into a list, we first go to the stat button and we hit the enter. And we enter these values here down in list 1. as I've done here. We then repeat this with our p-values, or which is going to be on our y-axis in this calculator, which we enter into list 2. Once we've done that, we might want to graph this. To graph this, we need to go to the stat plot section. So we go second, stat plot, and we need to turn on one of these stat plots. So let's press enter on plot one and make sure it's highlighting on the on and hit enter. We want to graph this as a scatter plot, so we want to make sure that this is highlighted. And our x list is going to be the time which we put into list one. If this wasn't list one, you just go to second list and then select list one. And we want our y to be our population, which we entered into list 2. So now we've done that, we need to change the view window, which I've already done, to best represent our values here. So our view window, I've chosen to go from 0 through to 5 for our x's with a scale of 1. And then from 0 through to 1000 to cover all of our y down in here. So now I've set up my window, I'm going to graph this. And I'll get a graph that looks like this. As you can see in this graph, it isn't necessarily a linear relationship anymore. It's got this slight curve to it. And I look at this and I'm, I think to myself, maybe an exponential model might fit this the best. So let's test that out. To calculate the exponential model, you go to the stat button. And instead of in the edit function, you want to move across using your arrow key to the calculate area. And you'll have a list of things that you can calculate. If you scroll down until you go just off the page, you'll see this EXPREG, which stands for Exponential Regression. That's also option zero. If you press enter on that option, it'll ask you which one's going to be your X and which is going to be your Y list. Now, my X list I put into list one, and my Y list I put into list two already, so I don't need to change these. So instead, I move down to hit the Calculate and it'll calculate me the values for the exponential regression model along with my r and r squared values. As you can see here, my r and r squared are almost one, which means it's an almost perfect fit for this model. Now this calculator will give you the exponential regression model as y equals a multiplied by b to the power of x where it's saying my A value is approximately equal to, I'm going to go three significant figures here, so it's approximately equal to 200, and my B to three significant figures is approximately equal to 1.37. Therefore, the best exponential regression model that best fits this data here is Y is equal to my A value of 200, multiplied by my b value of 1.37 to the power of x. Now, in the next video, I'm going to interpret what the a and the b value actually represent in context to the problem. But for now, that's how you find the equation of the exponential regression model using the calculator uh, from Texas Instruments, the TI-84 plus CE.